Welcome to my week 6 battle for low tier mayhem season number 1. This week my team the Miami Palafront are going to be taking on OG Albina, coach of the Carolina Roaring Moon. I'll give you guys a quick rundown of my team and the battle will soon follow afterwards. In an attempt to save my season, I did make some transactions heading into this week 6 matchup, dropping Hitmonchan, Appleton, and Magneton in exchange for Hisui and Decidueye, Belly Bolt, and Berserker. Owen's team is very very strong, with hard hitting bulky attackers like Kasui and Gudra, Deancey, and even fast hard hitting mons like Paldea Taurus Aqua, Tornadus, and his Terra Captain Delphox is no joke. On top of that, he has amazing bulky, bulky pivots and slow, Galarian Slowbro, Electros, and even Poliswine can take hits for days, thanks to Revilite. Regardless of that, I feel like I built the best team possible with this given the matchup and hopefully I can turn around my season and get my team back on track after some rough weeks. First starting off here is my primary win condition in Trick Room Hatterene. As Owen's team doesn't really appreciate um, spe his speed control is basically just down to priority and spirit tomb for the most part which is slower and he does have some slow mods himself but if I'm able to get him a Trick Room and weaken the entire team his Hatterene can definitely put in work. The combination of Dual Stab and Dazzling Gleam plus Slide Shock hits everything on his team for at least neutral damage, with Shadow Ball just being there to do a bit more damage to Galarian Slowbro. I have Pixie Plate to boost the overall power of Dazzling Gleam, as nothing on his team really wants to appreciate taking a hit even though Galarian Slowbro is his main way of dealing with it, and his Steel type doesn't resist Fairy, even though it does have some really good special defense. Next up we have an Offensive Moltres. Between the combination of Flamethrower and Hurricane, I can dent his entire team, even Deancey is that I'm going to come and switch on a modest Flamethrower or Hurricane, as it gets relatively chipped down and lacks reliable recovery. U-Turn gets me momentum and Roost is there for longevity. I'm running enough speed to guarantee outspeed of Serena, creeping my, max, my base 60s, and the rest of the EVs were put into HP and Special Attack to give me some bulk and increased Moltres' overall damage output. Next is then my other backup pivot, and Rindoberry Swampert. Earthquake hits his entire team for neutral damage, with the exception being Tornadus, which I can easily flip turn out of, as well as Electroth, which I can knock off at the Soul Fest to make it easier for my Hatterene. And of course, Stealth Rock is there to reliably chip out his entire team, with Rindoberry ensuring that I don't die to Delphox's Grass Knot. I'm running enough attack investment to guarantee knockout max HP Delphox with Earthquake. I have enough HP and defense to guarantee take two unboosted close combats or wave crashes from Paldea Toro's Aqua, and the rest of you are put in special defense to take hits better from Pokemon like Deancey. Then I have my Terra Steel Mono Attacking Venomoth with Citrus Berry and Terra Blast, Quiver Dance, Morning Sun, and Substitute. With Substitute on this set, I can guarantee not only ease prediction against Owen's team, but it also allows me to deal with Hisui and Gutra just in case he decides to bring Dragon Tail, as if I, by terrestrializing into a Steel type, I can resist Hisui and Gutra's dual stab and force it to reveal Flamethrower, and if I'm able to get to get set up a sub and try to Dragon Tail me out, my, my max HP will prevent it from breaking my sub unless he's running significant attack investment. I'm running enough speed to guarantee outspeed Adamant Max Speed Serena, Max HP for overall bulk, and the rest of the users are put in a special attack to increase the power of Terra Blast. Terra Blast is really all I need in this matchup because his steel resist doesn't really exist thanks to Tinted Lens, and everything on his team gets like, takes a huge chunk from Terra Blast steel, even with resisted. Then I have a Choice Scarf Zoroark back again, which is basically just here to guarantee have a means of dealing with stuff like Delphox, and a way of revenge killing Tornado if he doesn't get up like a Tailwind on something in a last ditch effort. Um, Dark Pulse hits his entire team for good damage, with the exception of being Deancey, which I have Focus Blast for, which is my main way of doing damage to it. Psychic is my main way of doing, ensuring I can guarantee deal with um, Tauros in a pinch, and then U-Turn to survive me with momentum. I'm just running enough speed for Delphox, nothing really fancy about this set. And then lastly, making its debut, we have our Heavy Duty Boots, uh, Belly Bolt with Volt Switch, Muddy Water, Toxic, and Slack All. This set is just basically here to be to act as a bulky pivot for the rest of my team, as I can Volt Switch out on everything on his team with the exception being Palaswine, which I have the combination of Muddy Water plus Toxic to wear that thing down, and Slack Off gives me reliable recovery. I'm running enough investment to guarantee not only take two modest earth powers from Deancey from full, I can also take two close combats from Paldea Toro's Aqua if it's not choice banded. 
So that's my team for week six of low tier mayhem season number one. I kept you guys waiting long enough, so without further ado, let's head on over to the battle. Alright guys, here we are with our battle for week number 6 of the Low Tier Mayhem, taking on OG Albina, or Owen, coach of the Carolina Roaring Moon, and yeah, he brought the exact same 6 I saw in the mock. Wow, okay, damn. The very same 6, no Torn. So it's a Tauros, Delphox... Gudra, Deancey, Slowbro, Serena. Okay. So no Pylo, no Torn, uh, which is good. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lead off with my Zork, disguise it as... Let's disguise it as Moltres. Alternatively, I could just lead off with my... Nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not gonna lead off with Swampert. I told myself if I was gonna lead off with, if I saw Serena, I was gonna lead off with something with Zorark and disguise it as, uh, uh, no, disguise Moltres as, disguise Zorark as Moltres. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so yeah, we brought the exact same six. Alright, so good luck, have fun to uh, Owen. Uh, hopefully, these last few weeks have been pretty rough for me, <laughs> losing 6-0 and 5-0, and hopefully I'm looking to get back on track in the win column to get back to even at the very least. Um, I do feel good about the team overall. Solar, that is the slow bro. Okay. Alright, so we see the Moltres, I mean, Zorak Lee versus the slow bro. Do I want a Dark Pulse right away, though? I don't want to give away my speed immediately, because this outspeed this gives me an offensive check to the uh, Delphox. But I don't lose anything by clicking Dark Pulse. Unless he's Cobraberry, but even if he is, he's not. That looks like a salt vest, <laughs> but I did get the flinch. That's definitely like AV. Um, I will Dark Pulse again. He can go Deancey. Um, if he goes Deancey, I just go directly into Belly Bolt. Wade Jr. Yeah, there's a Deancey. Dark Pulse. Then from here, let's just go out into... Hmm. I kind of want to keep Belly Bolt for Delphox. So let's just make the Swampert play. I'm weakening myself for Tauros, yes, but at the same time, I also think that it's my overall best play at this point. So he's going to move last immediately. 404 down to 239. That's offensive if I've ever seen it. Let's just go for the flip turn. So yeah, it's gonna withdraw. I'm expecting the Serena to come out. Luciano, sounds like the Serena nickname. There it is. Right, flip turn out of there. And now we go directly out into our Moltres this time. We got into the actual Moltres this time. And we are just going to click. Hmm, I kinda wanna keep the bluff going of me being of me being Zora, because Zora does get flamethrower. Yeah, let's just do it. I don't need to do anything crazy here. Solaire goes back into Deancey. Okay, with, oh, he goes back into Slowbro. Okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, let's Hurricane. There we go. 
Doesn't kill. Does sludge bomb. No poison. I'm okay with that. And we'll just flamethrower. He goes back into DNC, he goes back into DNC. I'm getting this thing. I'm getting DNC chipped out. That's basically what I care about. Snell this time. That's the that's the drop. You turn into Belly Bolt. Please, I know he Sap Sipper and makes sense for Sleep Powder Venomoth. Uh, but yeah, let's just go into Belly Bolt. He attacks me, it's whatever. I click Bolt Switch afterwards. Alright, he's just gonna knock off my boots. I'm okay with that. We just click the switch. Okay, interesting. Give me a sec. All right, terribly sorry about that, guys. My uh, recording actually uh, crashed midstream after the uh, after the belly ball play. Uh, but since then, we have killed the, um, it's currently 5-5, I have currently killed both, um, I'm, I sack my Swamper to this, uh, Tauros, and he is down his Serena at the moment. I'm just gonna click Psychic here. He is gonna withdraw, I'm expecting the Deante to wanna come back out. No, he goes back into Kutra, okay. Like, I'm totally fine with, with this exchange for the most part. I don't get rocks up, which sucks, but... At the same time, though, it's like okay-ish. Um, I am gonna go back into Belly Bolt this time. Like, I have no reason not to. I also have to find an opportunity to heal up. All right, so we're just gonna Dragon Tail. Um, so where did Dragon Tail me into, though? Okay, it gives me back into... It brings me back into... Zorg. Dark Pulse does not kill. Well, oh, Dark Pulse. It doesn't kill, yes, but at the same time, I kind of want to... Um, yeah, he's gonna drag and tell me again. Um, ideally I don't get Hatterene. Okay, back in the belly bolt. I'll take that. So I get a free slack off. If he dragon tells again, he dragon tells again. Ideally, yeah. I'm like, ideally he doesn't, like, Drake Horn. Sorry, so Wade Jr. comes back out. Um, and now we... Hmm. Yeah, we just Volt Switch. I take any hit from this. And he's Power or Meteor Beam. Power Meteor Beam. Jesus Christ, I did so much! <laughs> uh, but in any case, this does allow me to get my free Volt Switch. And now I can Volt Switch into my Venomoth. This time. And just click the Terra Blast. Terra and Terra Blast. There's, there's no sense tempting fate here. I'm just going to Terra Blast. Um, Chapman. Is this the Tauros again? No, it's the Delphox. Okay. I'm okay with this. I mean, I get my damage off on the, um, 
I get my damage off on Delphox. And I'm obviously not staying in now. So this is not gonna do it's gonna be like 25. Yeah, it's about 25. <laughs> uh so let's see. From here, let's just go out into Belly Boats too low. Let's just go into Moltres. Like, I know he's Terra Rock, but at the same time, I don't have an out to this particularly. Mystical Fly, okay. Special Attack Drop. Now, I know he's Terra Rock, but the problem is I don't have a switch into this. I do not have a switch into this. Uh, I might as well just stay in and let this go down. Yeah, I might as well just stay in and let this thing go down. Because then I can go Zoroark afterwards. Yeah, so I'll just Hurricane. Like, this isn't really going to change much, but I don't really have an out to this in particular. So yeah, I'll let him kill me with Terra Blast. So is he Terra Rock? You should go for Terra Blast and kill me. Go. Alright, so my trust goes down, but it did bring a ton of damage. Bell Fox. Um, this is basically just trying to set up with the. This is basically just going for Hatterene Endgame. Here, I go Zorark and I click Dark Pulse. No matter what, I'm clicking Dark Pulse. You can go Diancy, you can go Tauros. It doesn't really matter. I need my damage. So go ahead, go into the Anti or Tauros. Or Gudra. Alright, so Zorox wanna get the kill here on the Gudra. I mean, if he gives it to me, that's the other thing. Look at this. Alright, so Gudra, Gudra goes down to Zoroark. So that's one less thing out of the way for Hatterene. Um, if he goes Diancy or Tauros, I think I have to stay in. Um, do I have a other play? Could I sack Belly Bolt? Could I sack Belly Bolt, then go... Wait... I think I can do that, yeah. Let's do that. Let's sack Belly Bolt to the DNC. I go Venomoth. I don't click... I don't click, um... I don't attack. I click sub. Yeah, 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 let's do that. Yeah, that's fine. See, his belly bow did, did some work in the, in the beginning there, because he didn't bring Palo Swine, so I was able to Volt Switch around so freely. So now I go into my... So now I go into Venomoth, and I click Sub. I'll click sub. I mean, he could go slow, bro. He can also just stay in and, and like prevent me from like setting up for free. But this is just like a fail safe. Because the thing is, if I attack and I kill him, he goes into Del Fox and kills me back. And I I want to see at the very least what he does first before I make that judgment call. Exactly. This is exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. Alright, so pick your poison. You break my sub, but I kill you back. 
I'm not I'm not I'm not clicking um I'm not clicking um quiver dance. Terror blast. It didn't kill. No, that's still fine. It basically just comes down to me killing the slow bro with Hattery. No, I'll just let this go down. But yeah, that's fine. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Could I have done it? Could I have won it if I quiver danced on with Venomoth? Yes, it's potentially. But again, it was more so, I was so fearing the Delphox being Mirror Herb that I didn't do that. Like if I, like, like, so if I, I subbed on the incoming Delphox, if I quiver dance, he broke my sub and he was Mirror Herb, I automatically lost. And I was doing my best to avoid that situation if at all possible. Um, I also could have probably gone for Dark Pulse flinches with the with the Zorark, but at the same time, it would have came down to Slowbro at the end. Me not getting damage off on that. But uh, yeah, at least for the most part, despite the fact that I lost again, this felt like the best I felt prep-wise in terms of a loss. Um, and I was doing well early with the pivoting and whatnot between Belly Bolt, Moltres, and Swamper. So I didn't feel like I didn't have a game plan. It just felt like I just needed damage on Slowbro. I needed more chip on Slowbro. If I got that extra chip, I won. I really felt like I won. Maybe if I was extra build for Pixie Plate too, that probably could have helped. But um, I don't want to talk about like what ifs or whatever. Because I definitely had a chance at the end there. I really did. Um... But uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Uh, GG to Owen. Check him out in the description down below. Check out all the other coaches taking part in low tier mayhem. Um, we gotta bounce back. We're two and four with only two weeks to go. It doesn't get any more diff easier than here. We play Gentleman Thomas for week seven. We gotta win out to at the very least finish the regular season even and have any shot at playoffs. But again, still a good battle. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, apologies for the uh for the cutoff there in the in the beginning. But regardless, hope you guys enjoyed the battle nonetheless. Be sure to check out all the coaches and I'll leave it at that. Until the next time guys, this is Tone, signing off for now. Peace out.